Happy Friday Eve, everyone. It's uh, Eric here with a quick, and I mean quick, weather update on this Thursday afternoon. There's not much to talk about again today other than the warm weather on this first day of autumn. Autumn arrived about four hours ago at 1021 this morning. Scintillating sunshine over Niles and over Youngstown. Look at the visibility today. You can see forever. The air is nice and clean, relatively speaking, and uh, the, the uh, visibility shows that, that uh, we don't have a whole lot of haze in the air. Temperatures, though, it's the first day of autumn, and it looks like July. 87 in Berlin's, Berlin Center, Austin Town, and Salem. 85 in Alliance, Carrollton's at 84, Calcutta's at 84, and Elwood City over in Lawrence County at 87. And when you look at the dew point map across the country, it, it looks like July. A lot of 60s showing up here uh, east of the Rockies and up through the Ohio Valley. Interestingly enough, look at Phoenix. A rare, humid day in Phoenix. Now, at this time of the year, it can get humid occasionally out in the deserts, but... Uh, Unusual to see a map with a 67 dew point in Phoenix. This evening on Weather for Weather Geeks, we're going to talk about the uh, autumn forecast again, like we did last night, but we're going to focus a little more on, instead of the season, kind of the next month. Uh, as we roll into October, what can we expect? And uh, we'll talk about the uh, prospects of rain next week, which remains kind of a challenging forecast. Uh, we could use some rain. Uh, certainly, if we want a vibrant fall foliage season, some rain would be a good thing. So we'll talk about uh, next week's forecast challenges this evening on Weather Geeks. I'll see you tonight at 21 News at 6 and 11. Have a great Thursday.